Today, we're trying out hacks and experiments with dry ice. Look at that! Oh my god, that's cool. That is amazing. Three, two, one. What is up people, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Now it's been some time since we've done some science experiments on this channel and I know you guys love it, I love it as well, so I thought today let's do a science experiment. I'm going to be trying out various different hacks and experiments using dry ice. Throughout this video I want you guys to rate in the comments section below how cool you think these experiments are and which one is your favourite. Let's go. Now before we get started, the main thing we need is to be safe. That's why I've got gardening gloves, a lab coat and lab glasses. This is something that you have to be very safe with because it can be dangerous if you use it irresponsibly and you should not try this at home. This is our dry ice. Now we got to be careful with this because on the top it says this is as cold as minus 80 degrees Celsius and it can cause severe burns and frostbite if not handled with care. So we've got to be super careful with this and this is why you don't try this at home and this is why I try this. So let's get on and let's create something amazing with this dry ice. Let's open this up. I want to see what the dry ice is like. Okay, ready. That's in a big old bag. Oh, they're tiny pellets. We've got pellets of dry ice. Oh my word. Okay, this is what the dry ice looks like. I feel like a crazy scientist right now. I actually do. Look at that. That is minus 80 degrees. Look at that. Look, look. Just blowing it. I am the fire breather. I honestly, this is awesome. Let's not play with it because we got some serious experiments and hacks to do. So without further ado, let's get on to the first hack. So for this first experiment, we are aiming to make a dry ice volcano. What we have here is one of our crazy, um, uh, I'm a scientist, what's the name of this? It's a ball, a, a glass ball type, uh, we have our lab equipment here, our glass lab equipment. We then have um, this measuring jug with a whisk with water in and we also have some fairy liquid. So what we're going to do first is we are going to mix the fairy liquid in here. That's probably, yeah, a little bit more gone. Probably enough, probably enough. All right, so then we're going to give it a mix. Get all those bubbles. So we're going to put the fairy liquid and water in here and then we're going to add the dry ice and hopefully there should be a bit of an explosion. But we haven't really tried it, so anything could happen. Anything could happen. Let me know, guys. What's your predictions in the comment section below? Let's go. Right. Okay, going in. There could be a massive explosion. There could be absolutely nothing. Hopefully there's a big explosion though. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the middle just in case it does throth everywhere and, and explode. Let's get the dry ice. All right, so we have our dry ice in here. We're about to pour it in, are we ready? Are you ready, Sam? Are you guys ready at home? Okay. What's gonna happen? Oh no, it's gonna do it! It's gonna explode. Oh my word! Look at that! Wow, and look, if we, if we, if we touch the bu bubbles, they just explode. Oh my word. Look at this. The dry ice volcano. I would have loved to have done this as a kid. Oh my, I mean, I love it now. That is amazing. That is so cool. Woo! I could honestly do this all day, I think. So as the bubbles form, they then capture the dry ice and uh, when crushed, they explode. This could, I think this could just go on forever. It looks like it's gonna go on forever. So this is the dry ice volcano. Let me know out of 10, what would you rate this in the comments section below? Let's get on with the next experiment. This is the giant smoke experiment. So we've got our dry ice, we've got an empty bowl, we've got a bowl of water, and then uh, this bowl with uh, a flanolin and some detergent. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna firstly pour the dry ice 
into the empty bowl. So the next thing what we need to do is pour the water in and this is gonna bubble and go everywhere and go crazy. So you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Oh my word! That in itself is just amazing. Okay, so then we need to take the gloves off because we've got to do something with precision. So we've got to get this soapy thing out. Let's wring it out a bit. We're going to drag it over the top and try and create a massive bubble. Are we ready? Didn't work. Oh, it nearly did it then. Did you see that? Right, we need more. We need more. Yes! We've got it! The bubble! Look at this, ready, where it goes. Okay, I wanna subscribe guys and a thumbs up for this. Ready, it's gonna pop. It's gotta pop soon. That's gotta pop soon. Pop it. <laughs> no, but then I think, could it go much, it's gotta go bigger than that, surely. Oh no, the dry, oh! <laughs> that was sick. That was so good. We need an instant replay on that. So we've got some more dry ice. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Right, let's try and do the same thing again. Let's try and make a big old smoke bubble. Okay, ready. First time, look at that. The pro is here. I think this time I've got to pop it. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> that was awesome. Do you want to try another one while it's still going? Are you, ch are you challenging me? Two for two. That is how you do it, people. Boom. I'm going to let it go a bit more. Maybe we won't. <laughs> So for this experiment, we're gonna be freezing objects solid. That's right, so we have some ethanol alcohol here, which we're gonna be putting into this bowl. And we have a selection of different things we're going to freeze. We have marshmallows, strawberry laces, Greek basil, and some lovely flowers that are meant to be for EV, but you know, we've got an experiment to do and you know, I wanna, I wanna smash them. We're gonna put the ethanol in. Oh, it's like a paint stripper. Very, very alcoholic, 99.9% .9 purity. So we're gonna put that in here. Now we're not gonna to put too much, uh, about there. And now we gotta add the dry ice. Okay, let's put the dry ice pellets in. Right, now we need to get our object and freeze it. So first things first, we got a marshmallow. Mmm, I love a marshmallow. Okay, that's not what we're doing though. We're gonna break it. Okay, we're gonna get the marshmallow and we're gonna put it in the liquid. Let's get a strawberry lace out as well. Come on, let's do, let's do two, I'm crazy. I'm feeling crazy today. Minus 80 degrees on a marshmallow, what will happen? So let's get it, God, Stra oh my word. We're gonna use the whole batch of strawberry laces. Okay, and that's a very poor attempt of a strawberry lace. Right, okay, we're getting all the strawberry laces out. How is it like ended in a packet and now it's ended there? <laughs> let's add the strawberry lace. I feel like this is gonna be crazy. Oh my word, look at this. The strawberry lace. It's like brittle. Look at that. Should we see if it actually smashes? Oh my God, it's gone everywhere. I didn't think it was gonna break that easily. Oh my, right, okay. Strawberry laces are brittle when mixed with um, dry ice. Okay, let's see about this marshmallow. We've added it in for a little bit longer to try and make it as brittle and as cold as we possibly can. Let's leave it in there for another 10 seconds, I'd say. This strawberry lace though, damn. That broke into a million pieces. All right, let's see how the marshmallow matches up. Against the hammer. Three, two, one. Okay, look, it's kind of brittle. Like the outside didn't really break how I thought it was gonna break. But now we have to try the basil on the flower, because that is going to look amazing. Okay, so we've got flower here going in, and then we also have the basil going in. I've got a feeling this is going to work. Okay, we're going to take the basil out. Oh, okay, I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work. Are we ready? Three, two, one. 
it splattered against the door. <laughs> Okay, that broke and shattered into a million pieces. Now let's try the flour. I feel like we need a bit more ice. We want to really make this flour smash, you know? Right, the flour. Are we ready? That looks very brittle. Three, two, one. Oh my God, that went absolutely everywhere. Flour? Where has the flour gone? Look, it's all down here. Oh my God, it's everywhere. Evie's gonna go mental. Now for this next experiment, we are gonna try and make some levitating bubbles. And I know what you're asking me. How do we make levitating bubbles? Well, the dry ice, it emits carbon dioxide. And with that gas rising, it keeps the bubbles levitating. Yes, it actually makes the bubbles levitating. And here is my very manly jar of bubbles which I will be uh, blowing into this bowl but first we need to add the dry ice. Dry ice goes in the bowl and I've dropped a little little one there. Okay so can you see this? Well bowl dry ice. Now we're gonna see if this actually works. <laughs> it just okay I think I need to do it a bit further away. This is meant to be the easiest one. <laughs> right, we need to try this again, because it's not working. It keeps bloody breaking. Look, look, look! Yes! They're levitating! What? Oh my god. We got some levitating bubbles. I got it. Oh. I was going to Instagram it. God damn. Oh, look at that. Yes, yes, boom. So watch this bubble because, do you see that? Look, it's frozen. Look at that. That was a frozen bubble. It literally froze as it was on the dry ice. This is what happens when you mix dry ice uh, with some warm water. Are we ready? Whoa, look at that. Oh my word, that is insane. Should we make a, make a twister? <gasps> Woo! This is, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what to do, this is crazy. This has gone a little bit wrong. It was literally just spurting out <laughs> water everywhere. This is violent, look at that. That is really bubbling. I like some mad scientist. Now for this next experiment, we are gonna try and create some ice swirls and patterns. Uh, it's quite hard to explain, but we put water in a baking tray, like so. We're gonna add some blue food coloring, sort of all around, just little, little drops here and there. Right, we got the blue food coloring in. Now guess what we add? The dry ice, that's right, but only like, a tiny pellet at a time? Right, you're gonna have to really zoom in on this. I'm gonna add this here, okay? You ready? Whoa! That is sick, let's add, let's add a couple more. That is so cool. That is amazing. <laughs> that is actually amazing. Right, we're gonna add a little bit more water here. Oh, now look what we got. We got the ice moving around. We got some swirls in the building. Yes, dry ice swirls. Look at that. Look at it. Okay, this wasn't as crazy as the other ones I know, but it's still pretty cool. Look, that's making a bubble. Look, look. That's pretty cool. And look, these guys, they're just spinning around. They're having the craziest time of their life. And for the final experiment, we are going to put a load of dry ice in a bowl in the sink and it's gonna look like everything's overflowing. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> oh my God. My kitchen is smoking. Would you say, yep, yeah, um, kitchen is smoking. Look at that, look at this. Oh my God, that's cool. Mm. 
This is insane. Look, look at how much smoke there is. Look at it, look, look at it go over there. Wait, look, if I push it past, it looks so cool. We are really cooking up something in the kitchen today. Evie's gonna get her back home. She's gonna be like, I literally leave you for 10 minutes and, and you've turned my kitchen into a laboratory. How long is this gonna last before it goes? Be here all day. Well, I think things actually went pretty well today. Pretty well indeed. Well, there we are. That was trying out hacks and experiments with dry ice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually had so much fun today. I had so much fun. If you guys enjoyed it though, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on another video and leave in the comment section below. What was your favorite experiment and what other experiments would you like to see on the channel? I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye bye. So his name is Ollie White and he's the best in the land Cause every single video he makes is always gonna be grand Click on his page if you wanna see more, he's got more subs